Hello and greetings from the University of Texas at Austin. My name is John Luke. I am the Assistant Dean for Interprofessional Integration at Dell Medical School. On behalf of my colleagues here at the University of Texas at Austin, I'd like to present our on-demand lecture for the 2022 Innovations Conference at the UT System Kenneth Schein Academy of Health Science Education. The title of the on-demand lecture is Liberating Structures to Promote Interprofessional Small Group Interactions. I'm very honored to be presenting this on behalf of my interprofessional colleagues who are listed here, all of whom have no relevant financial conflicts of interest to disclose. Our learning opportunity today is really to think about the challenges to creating in-person and virtual small group interactions that are fun, engaging, and impactful. And thinking about how liberating structures could be the vehicle to promote this in-person virtual small group interaction, especially in interprofessional settings. Typically, group experiences often are passive. We're listening to a speaker. Maybe it's in a rigid arrangement. We're lecturing style where everybody's looking forward. There's a slide presentation that we're all focused on. And likely there's an imbalance in participation because it's mostly the speaker doing the talking. And it's really rigid because we're focused on the speaker and nothing much else. The experience might be very expected and typical in that there's a presentation and then if time permits, a, qu a question and answer period. Well, liberating structure operates on similar elements, thinking about how to create that structured invitation to join, how to arrange the space and what materials are needed, how participation could be distributed or redistributed, and how groups can be configured to maximize interaction and learning. The sequence of steps and the sequence of time also are factored into liberating structure. Liberating structure variations within these five elements really enable greater inclusion and equity and participation and diversity of thinking and contribution compared to other experiences that perhaps you and I have experienced in many levels of learning. So I'm very pleased to introduce this as a modality to empower and to liberate group learning, especially interprofessional groups. Liberating Structure was co-developed by Henry Lepanowitz and Keith McCandless. Links to the author's video and the Liberating Structure website will be available at the end of this presentation. Well, what is liberating structure? Liberating structure is a active, engaging experience. It promotes group interaction, thinking, and creativity through these little microstructures that we can adapt. They're practical and they're very straightforward to use. It does not require special training. And they have been offered and available for use widely under the Creative Commons license. Well, what undergirds and what drives liberating structure? Liberating structure is meant to be inclusive. It's meant to unleash everyone's participation. And it's really rooted on the practice of deep respect for people and also local solutions. And so the opportunities give rise to people's voices and opinions and also enables those involved to seek consensus, seek ideas and perhaps seek solutions. Important in these interactions is trust. And these experiences build trust. And it's also about learning to fail forward, learning to contribute, learning to ways in which we stumble and we get up and we do it again. We help each other in the process of self-discovery within a group. We also amplify, liberating structure amplifies the sense of freedom and responsibility. It gives latitude to the interface and it shares the responsibility between group members. It emphasizes possibilities, believing that you can see it, you can envision it, let's work to that. It also invites some creative destruction to enable innovation. So it changes your perception of group work and invites you perhaps to deconstruct experiences to change perspectives in ways that promote creativity. More importantly, it really is playful. It is seriously playful, curious. 
curiosity promotion in these activities. And also it's important to start with a clear purpose. Well, why are we doing this? How might we use liberating structure to help us? Well, there are um, adaptable microstructures offered. You can see in this matrix, there are many of them. The most basic of, of which is the one, two, four, all microstructure, the impromptu networking microstructure. You will notice that the more simple or the more straightforward are at the top left and the bottom right are the more intricate or more advanced microstructures. Well, how do you know what to pick? Which one would be best for your interprofessional group work? Fortunately for us, uh, the creators have offered a matchmaking checklist on their website in which they ask you to write down what are your challenges? What is the opportunity you want to think about and deliberate? And then from there, you use their document and you check off the objectives that match that perhaps even trimming it down to three or seven. And then you can look correspondingly on the document. Well, if you checked off number one, what is number one activity or number five or number seven? So it gives you a, a match of a particular microstructure that might be useful in addressing your challenge and opportunity. Well, let's think about our applications in our virtual and in-person experiences. I think one of the things that we have come to experience among my interprofessional colleagues has been the opportunity to activate group energy and group think through liberating structure. Liberating structure really promotes curiosity and diverse input. And especially in person, there's a sense of movement. One moves around physically with the small group. Well, virtually there's motion too. The motion comes with the movement between types of breakout rooms, the timing of it, the composition of it, the structure of it. There still is structure and process to the experience. It's not an open-ended experience. It's not a free form experience. And this is an opportunity where we can apply this to large and small groups. In our interprofessional workshops, we have used impromptu networking. We've used crowdsourcing. We've used one, two, four, all to generate ideas. We've, often, we've also used drawing. Drawing is a great way to liberate thinking, to try to create nonverbal expressions. And this has worked for us in person and virtual. We've also used this in our professional training in our T3 Train the Trainer in the Professional Team Development through a shift and share Troika consultation models, which are amazing opportunities to create consultation on the fly and rapidly too. Well, I invite you to think about this. I invite you to look through the various microstructure to examine uh, opportunities to try it out. These are the microstructures that are available for you to use and with some brief annotations here. Again, I invite you to explore the website. I invite you to view the video uh, by Henry and Keith about liberating structures. It's very informative. And I thank you for joining me on this on-demand lecture. I want to highlight the work of the University of Texas at Austin Center for Health IPE. Feel free to reach out through the website and contact us. We're available to help out and to share information too. Thank you all very much. Hook them. Mm -hmm.